Okay, here's the uh, lids right here. Here's the box of them, wide mouth storage jars. They're pretty cheap, so uh, they come in a box of eight. On page 116 in the book, you'll see that they show the pattern for drilling these out and the size of the holes. And uh, these two holes are the ones for the terminals. Uh, then you have the bubbler valve. Then you have the one-way valve, little uh, air uh, release, this one right here. And then you also have your angled piece, your 45. When you drill that out, um, scruff up that top after you make your holes so that it's, uh, can, it's not shiny. On the bottom side, in the center, there's going to be a little nub. You want to use something like a little chisel or something to kind of make it flat. You don't want this, when it goes on there, like that, you don't want it rocking back and forth on that piece. So you cut that little center piece off. Okay, here's the pieces I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in that one-way valve, this little angled piece right here. Got these washers I'm going to put in. Um, I'm missing one of these right here, the bubbler, but you can only imagine how it goes. So I'm going to move that away. Here's my goop. Here's the end of a Q-tip with the end cut off. I find that's the easiest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just putting some goop down here on the lid. I think the goop works better than the uh, the goop works better than the quick uh, crazy glue does. You want to keep that kind of that lid. If you're going to be working with it for a while, you're going to want to put that lid back on that goop because it'll set up on there. You can kind of see what I'm doing. Just kind of putting down there. Put a washer on. Might as well do the ones on the inside while I'm at it with the washers. Here's the inside. Okay, then we're back to the outside, and we'll put this little guy in there. What I do is I take a little piece of that aquarium hose, just take a little, oh god, just a little short tip. I don't know, maybe that's a half an inch or something like that. And I'm going to put some goop around here in this hole. This, those little pieces, the uh, the ones you use, the the 45s, they really don't have much, you know, there's not much grip, you know, they're, they're, it's so thin, there's really not like a base. So anyway, you just pop that in there, kind of set that there. Then I'm going to turn over the bottom side. I'm going to run a little bit of goop around that thing. Don't get it into the, the little hole there. I'm going to take this piece I cut. Yep, right here. I'm going to slide it down that thing right there. I'll get this done and then I'll show you. Too. So you basically hold the bottom piece, hold the angle. And that will slide down nice and snug. You can kind of position this stuff while it's wet. See, but I slid that little plastic piece down around that. Then, I'm going to do the same thing with the one-way valve. There's a little bit more base to it. It's got an arrow, shows you which way is up. Slide that in there, smash it down. And I'm going to do the same thing like I did on that 45. I'm going to go to the inside. I'm going to put a little bit of glue around here. By the way, this video is for 
my son. I'm sure some of you will critique me and send little notes that you don't think I did it right, but I'm just learning, having fun. Cutting another little piece of that to set down on top of there. Again, hold it and slide that down. You can see from the inside, I've just slid that little bit of aquarium hose around the ends of those so that it holds tight. So, when you're done, the one last thing you have is this bubbler right here. You don't do that yet because you're going to put a piece of hose when you have it finished. So, it's going to look like this. You're going to slide one of these pieces of hose on that tip. And then you're going to zip tie it down to one of the, uh, the anode or the cathode there. So that's what it's going to look like when you're all done when it's glued up.